In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with your OS Commerce shopping cart. Um, to get to your shopping cart admin, you're just going to type in in the address bar of your internet browser your, your domain name slash shop slash admin and type in the username and password. And this is the screen that will come up. Now, if you click to the left under catalog, you're going to see the three categories that were set up, African clothing, health and beauty, African art. Um, there's already 12 products in these. I'm going to show you how to upload a new product. Once you do it a few times, it gets easier as it goes. But if you look, at, go to the drop down box and click on Health and Beauty. And once the four products that already pop up, you can see, you can click on New Product. Now, this is an easy fill out form, and I'm going to show you how to work with it. Um, so when you see date available, next to it is this arrow. If you just click on it, a calendar will pop up. You can put in today's date. Product manufacturer you can leave alone. And under product name, you're going to only fill out the British flag boxes. That's for English. And if you know any other language, you can put in Spanish and stuff like that. We're just going to work with English. So I'm going to choose a product. Um, we're going to use raw shea butter soap, which is one of our number one selling products. Um, if you just open our website in a new browser, like I already done, I'm already in the product. And you just search on our website. You're just going to copy the information and put it onto your site. So we need the name of the product. So we're going to do raw shea butter soap. I'm just going to highlight it and I'm going to do control C or edit copy to get that, that wording and go back to your shopping cart and then just control V or edit paste the information in. Then you can come down to um, price now. We're just going to ignore a tax class. That's not important. Um, now, the price of the product. If you look on our website, we have $199 as the wholesale price. Our recommended retail price would be double that, which is $398. You can make it whatever price you want, but that's just our recommended price. Once you fill that out, you can go down to product description. Once again, you can go to our website, scroll down a little bit, and you can see the description that we have on our site. So you can just start copying from Renew Your Skin Pack Ingredients and copy that information and paste it into the box. Now scroll down a little bit further. It's going to ask you for the product quantity. So if you look on our website, it shows you um, we have 641 in stock and it's 7 ounces in weight. So I wouldn't recommend putting 641 because people purchase this item from our site all the time, but you can put a lesser amount, whatever you're comfortable with. You know, we can put like 500, I'm sure that's a safe number, and we'll just go back and check it every once in a while. Product model, we can leave alone, go all the way to the bottom to product weight. We said it was 7 ounces, and it's 7.00. And we need to put in a file, an image of the product. So if you go to our website, you can put your cursor over the image, right click, save image as and we're going to want to save this to our desktop which I already have done I created a new folder and I just named it shea butter soap so um, I can remember what this is called this image it's just not the item number which it was before we're just going to save and once you save that to your computer you can go back to your OS Commerce choose the file from your computer and I'm just going to select it and click open and you can see the name next to it and then oh, I'm sorry let me click that again okay so now you can see the name if you want JPEG file that's perfect um, product URL you can just leave alone also and then you click preview and when you click preview you should see all your information that looks great right so the one step that most people forget is to click this insert button at the bottom if you move from this screen it won't save any of the information that you had just put in the computer so make sure you click save and now you can see your product is in your in your shopping cart so now people can go ahead and select that product